voices around me getting fainter, like I was slipping into a deep sleep. When I woke up, I found myself in what looked like my childhood home, the place where I grew up, except the space felt hollow, like an empty canvas, devoid of any color, or life. Okay, so you're both coming over for football like we agreed, right? Um, so about that, Kevin just got the new Sega and we're heading over to his place to play Sonic the Hedgehog. But you guys promised! The four of us agreed that after school we'd play football! I know, but it's a Sega. Besides, he just got a new trampoline too. Well, can I come too? I don't think so since you weren't invited. It's not fair. They were supposed to come over to my place. So what if I don't have a Sega? It's not that big a deal anyway. Hey bud, what are you doing here all by yourself? I thought your friends were coming over to play. No, they said they couldn't anymore. Mom, I... I don't feel good about this. I don't belong here. I miss home. Oh. I'm sorry, kiddo. I know the move has been difficult. Just give it time, okay? They'll come around eventually. And just be yourself. It'll all work out. I'm just about done cooking. Let's play a game of Monopoly after lunch.
Hey, I hope you're well. Normally I call, but frankly I wasn't sure if you'd speak to me. I'm not sure if you're even going to read this letter. I know we said, I said some things on mom and dad's anniversary that I shouldn't have. I just want to say I'm sorry, and I miss you. I miss having the three of you over, all of us watching the Sunday game and watching our kids play together at the park. It's gotten lonely since you moved away. Please, just write back to me, okay? I don't want things to remain like this between us. I don't want our kids to become strangers to each other. Much love, Sybil. Hey guys, I hope you're all settled in. It's going to take some time to get used to not having the three of you around anymore. Oh, and by the way, I've given Eva and John your number. They're great and I think you would get along really well. I'll try and drop by in a few weeks. Until then, Kenny. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Walker, Normally I'd just wait until the next parent-teacher meeting to bring this up, but I felt you both needed to know about your son's behavior at school. He's very gifted and shows a lot of promise in his studies, but I'm concerned about his behavior with his classmates. He's often rude and doesn't play well with them. Just last week he got into a fight with one of the kids during lunch break. I understand you moved into town recently, and I imagine this would have taken a toll on him, changing schools and moving away from his friends and family to unfamiliar territory, but that's no excuse for his behavior at school. I'd like the three of you to meet me next week to resolve this. Does Wednesday work? Sincerely, Mrs. Block. glad you both made it. It's been so long. Ah, oh, we wouldn't miss it. As you said, it's been forever. Right. Well, there's food and drinks in the kitchen, so please help yourself. I guess that makes sense. I could never picture Sam going birthday cake shopping. I can vouch for that. He's never been enthusiastic about anything that doesn't involve alcohol. <laughs> conference a few months ago. What about you? Sam and I used to work at the same bar back in the day. Ah, uh, I see. I'd say we've been friends long enough, but I still feel like I don't know them as well as I should. So, I heard little Tim used to get in a lot of fights when he moved here. The kid looked so harmless. 
Right. Well, Jason did say it took a while to warm up to him. Then again, I guess it's just that age. Sometimes it takes a while to find your crowd. He looks like he's doing better now. And Jay and him get along really well. White can sometimes be definite, but I'll get used to it. Good. Glad to know someone's growing up. Slowly but surely. Given how bad he is it. Developments such as this. Right. But still, you would think one would have the common decency to let their friends know. Rachel, do, do you miss being young? Huh? What? Uh, which part? The infinite number of pimples, the braces, or the not having any friends part? Aw, oh, come on. I bet it wasn't all bad. I mean, don't you miss being young and free? Just living your life and doing your own thing with not a care in the world? Just look at him over there. He's literally in the middle of a room full of strangers and all he cares about are his toys. Well, it's not always the same for everyone growing up. I... For one, began to feel comfortable in my own skin only after college. And so what's gotten into you all of a sudden? Sweetheart, be careful. I told you not to play with your toys in the hall. And what's that in your hand? Happy birthday, Mom. It's a clay tortoise pop I got for your new job. Been reading some of your father's feng shui books, have you? Thank you, my son. That's very thoughtful. Now put all your toys back in your room. Dinner's almost ready. This hurts. Reopening old wounds, revisiting bittersweet memories. But to move on, one must face what they've tried so hard to avoid. Let's keep moving. There's so much more to see. My old room. Haven't been here in a while. Being here in this place, at that time, brings back so many memories I thought I'd sealed away. I wish I could say things got better as I went into my teenage years, but I kept slipping farther away from people. Maybe if I had tried harder, or not at all. It's so hard finding a balance with these things, you know?
With all that I was feeling, I had to find a way to vent. Find a cathartic solution. How effortlessly these ties unravel, and how fragile these connections are. Gone at the first sight of trouble, what I would give to live just one day, feeling the warmth of the world on my skin. Like a fly caught in a spider's web, I struggle for freedom. From my thoughts, my fears, my anxieties, sinking deeper into the void, deafening and empty. I fall without a crutch. I slip into the empty, farther and farther away from the light. Do I give in to the silence, or do I try again tomorrow? Do I dig deeper into this hole I'm in, or do I reach out to the light? Do I risk losing again, or do I take the first step out of darkness? Stuck in a labyrinth, the in-between, I'm caught in the middle. Neither the person I used to be, nor the person I fear I'm becoming. Looking back, the only way I was ready to deal with the pain was through my art. I wrote about things I couldn't share with others, even those closest to me. that I missed, moments I wished I could relive, and now I'm even farther away from it all. And while I was sinking deeper and deeper into myself, life went on. I pushed away those closest to me, those who could have helped me. I just let them in. I took them for granted, thinking they'll be around forever, and that nothing will ever change. A person's worth is never understood, until they're gone, until it's too late. How comfortable are you with change? Is it easy for you to move on from things? Are you someone who believes in moving forward and never looking back? Or do you tend to linger on to the past? That's about it, I suppose. I'm really going to miss this place. It feels like just yesterday we moved in, the three of us. You were so little, but such a handful. It wouldn't take long until we were out of breath trying to catch you. I wonder what Dad would have thought about moving out. Well, he always did say it would eventually happen. I doubt we would have stayed as long as we did if he was still here with us. Then again, he always did love this house. I sometimes feel like a part of him still lives on in these walls. I can't help but wonder that by moving on, we're leaving him behind.
I keep asking myself, is this the only way I get to see them once more? I worry if I'll ever be reunited with them, or maybe this is just a gift I'm supposed to be grateful for before ascending to nothingness. This is my life after death. A retrospective, a never-ending highlight of my past, with no second chances, and no resurrections. The voices say that I will eventually ascend, move on, though never specifying when, and to where. <laughs> 